like, I'm not using Photoshop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did you stop? Yeah. Did somebody just stop? That would be awesome. That doesn't even exist yet. Well, Photoshop doesn't exist. Okay. One, two, three. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, I'm Jen. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm Human Kebab. I'm Ashley Bushels. And you are? One, two, three. USS. Okay, so we are hanging out. It's Canadian Music Week. You guys are playing tonight at the Phoenix. Okay. Somebody has never seen USS play before. What are they expecting for the show today? What are they expecting? Huh? I would think they would. It would be like um, being in the desert for a really long time and then going to a water park. That's exactly what it's like. Draining them dry. It's like vamp. It's like the Collins when they decided that they had to be vegetarians. Okay. So they only hunt deers on their territory and not on the Lautner. Or, wait a minute, Jacob. I don't even know Jacob's last name. Team? Black. Are we talking Is about, it black? Are we talking about Twilight? I've never seen Twilight. No, he's just talking about Twilight. I made him watch it. And if I wasn't it? contractually obligated to hang out with him, I'd leave the room right now. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> His analogy was in, <laughs> in normal terms... Okay, USS is, has a very different sound of music than what's basically out there right now. It's like the way that kids say that gym is their favorite class. And you just love to just get physical. And um, my yoga instructor said that every day you need to laugh and you need to sweat. So we like to be conductors of, of energy and excitement and enthusiasm. The big three E's. Are you guys going to have your blood here on stage? Oh, we don't know. That's a mystery. Is that a secret? It is a secret. If you've never seen them play, they make smoothies. While I don't really know. Do you want to know why that happened? Yes, I actually really do want to know why that I was that I was roofing and... Uh, I just love smoothies so much, and um, and I didn't have time before a show. I had to go rush home because I got off work late. Because in the summer the sun sets, you know, at like nine o'clock. Rushed home. I grabbed my stuff. I was like, oh man, I will not have time to make a smoothie. And then I turned into Mitch Hedberg. And um, so then I brought my blender and strawberries, and banana, and some protein powder, and some vanilla extract, and some orange juice uh, to the show. Okay. So, well, and then I just, I just decided that, that I really wanted to have a smoothie. So, it didn't have as much to do with the audience as it did with uh, just my love of, of smoothies. Of smoothies. And then it just kind of stuck, or? Yeah, well, then I started, like well, yeah, they, well, everybody loved it. And um, I would, you know, offer some to the front row and kind of share it, share it up. Um, and, um, um, I, I wound up starting to realize that, um, uh, you know, there was there was something going on energetically at, in that moment, and that uh, it would become a part of, of my existence cellularly, like that energy of the room would come into this smoothie. We take it to the next show. Okay, you know and, I mean? and you have just crazy energy. Oh, thank you. You do. Like I've never seen anybody that has as much energy as you do. You should meet his grandma. More, more so. Energy. No, she's the complete opposite. Of okay. <laughs> well, where where Psych. does that energy come from? <laughs> Actually, like, where does it come from? Um, when I get up in the morning, I don't know what's going to happen. So okay. that's how I live my life. So the mystery that is today becomes tonight on stage. Okay, so it's just all day you're chill, and then you hit the stage, and it's just all oh, that depends. Insane craziness. It, it depends. Sometimes I scream in the shower or growl. Yeah, beef jerky too. Yeah. Oh. Love beef jerky. Okay. So you just recently released a new single. Yep. Um. What's been going on for the last two years now? Are you have you been recording a new album? When's it coming out? What's going on with that? Well, it's been a combination of touring. Um, we've done Canada like five times now. Yes. Um, played a, a lot of festivals last year. I bowled a lot. Yep. Bowled? Are you a good bowler? I am a good bowler. Do you 10 pin or 5 pin? 10 pin. Alright. That's amazing. I'm so, so proud of you. Okay, so back to the album. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we did a collaboration with Ashley McIsaac called Mavericks. Yes. Which you can get on iTunes. Mm -hmm. That was random. Yeah, random. We still haven't met him yet. You never met Okay, so how did that come together if you did a song with him and you've never met him? Well, he wanted to be involved in our wild popularity. I'm just kidding. Wild. I'm not, but I am. Okay. And then uh, Ash, what happened with the song? Yeah, I think he liked your haircut. Yeah, yeah. And um, it went from there. He said, I'd love to fiddle on an album with a guy that has a haircut like that. <gasps> okay, wow. seriously, what happened? Did um, you even know, or did it just sort of all come No, it, just, it, it was just one of those, um, I, I, like your, I like your haircut. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it, um, 
Yeah, he just, he just was into what we were doing. I wanted to uh, try something out. Okay. Hopefully it, it, Who do you uh, want to do what with? I would love to do a duet with lights. You should call her. I should text her. You should text. Do we not call people anymore, or do we just text? No, no, no. I would text to break the ice with like a funny <coughs> random fact. What about Twitter? Like I would tell her that the, that in your lifespan you will produce ten thousand gallons of saliva. Oh. Okay. Well. Awesome. And, she, and she would say, she would say, uh, let's hit the studio. Oh, okay. So how does he get to collaborate with her, and you don't? No, because he would. I would text him then, tell him that too, and then he would say. Are you hanging up with lights? <laughs> okay, all right, we can we can go with that. I think everybody has a little crush here that we're not going to get into. I see it. You're. Blushing. I just think she's talented, <laughs> remarkably talented, and she, German too. So, who else would you like to collaborate with? Who's like the ideal collaborator with USS? Uh, Barack Obama. Spoken word. You want to do? We should we should call him. We should put a little call into the White House. Or text. Or text. Okay, <laughs> since you're on with this text thing. Or BBM. We could do BBM. Social media. How did you find it easier now to keep in touch with fans with like having a Facebook page and Twitter and everything like that? Yeah, I, I find uh, Twitter Twitter fascinating just because it like comes right to the phone, which is the best. Because and I mainly use social media to play back in with my mom. Wow, you guys are all over it, eh? Yeah. Okay, so what's, what's next for USS? We're going to finish this EP, which we're going to release on May the 3rd, in the hopes that there will be a follow-up full-length album. Okay. And it's been going very well, hasn't it, Ash? Oh, wow, yes. Basically since the spring of 2010 till now. Okay. And NAOK -okay is the single, the single, which is more and more proliferating Canadian modern rock airwaves, which okay. is awesome. We're very proud. Awesome. And uh, the journey continues. Is there is there a goal of 2011, something that you want to accomplish by the end of the year? Um... What do you want to accomplish by the end of the year, Ash? Aside from releasing an EP, potential full length album, going to Japan, Australia, Europe, um, the Americans. I don't know. What else, Ash? Mm, I was actually reflecting on that this morning. So, are we going for like USS world domination? Uh, it's something like that. That's always been the goal, but it's more like. I wrote it down. It's more like to be oh. friendly with the world. Friendly I don't know. World, world domination is kind of pretentious. But did you actually write something down today? Would you like to share it? Um, what, what did you write down today? Is this like your little book of random thoughts? Uh, the only letter on appearing on the periodic table of the element, uh, not appearing in the periodic table of the element, is J. That's very exciting, actually. Okay, so uh, all right. So final question: it's Canadian Music Week. Yes. What is your favorite Canadian Music Week memory? Um, I think actually, you know what, I might speak for the both of us. In 2009, we got nominated for favorite group duo at the Indies, the Royal York yeah. Hotel. And we were backstage in the media room and we ran into our good pals down with Webster, uh, who were there to present an award. And it turns out that they were presenting in that category. And then we won the award and they presented Ash and I the award on stage. Well, high five for that. And I high love old um, CM hotels. Love the Royal York. It was, uh, I felt like a prince. Like a prince? Yes. Very good. Well, thank you for stopping to talk to me. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.